Hey everyone, Chloe here. Um, I don't know if you can tell anything different about my face. So, um, forgive me, I'm probably going to make weird facial expressions during this video because it's kind of hard to make the same expressive faces that I can normally make. And my voice is a little different because of all of the swelling. But, you know, as you all know, I had my FFS, my facial feminization surgery, about five days ago. So I just wanted to do a quick video kind of recapping um, the recovery process leading up to this point. Um, so before I go into how I'm feeling like right now, I'm going to switch over to some snippets from the past few days. So for our first snippet, this is the same one you've seen um, a few hours after surgery. It's really hard to talk, but it's been about, I don't know, three or four hours. The pain isn't terrible, it's being managed. It's mostly just the swelling around the jawline is the worst. It's just a, a little hard to swallow, so that's really the worst part right now, but it's honestly not as bad as I expected, so, and as you can tell, I really can't open my mouth, <laughs> but it's getting better, yay, I'm gonna be a beautiful butterfly soon. And then for our next snippet, as you can see each day, the swelling is going to be getting worse. Um, so for our next snippet is one day after surgery. As you can see, a lot more swelling around my mouth, my chin, my jawline, my eyes especially. Pain is still manageable, but it's just some nausea, headaches. Uh, hard to do anything but sleep to talk to. Um, it's supposed to get worse, the swelling for the next couple days, and then by like day four it'll start getting better. Um, the doctor came in to see me today at the hotel, so that was nice. And I'm planning on going back home to Gainesville tomorrow. Yay! And then our next one's two days after surgery. So here's an update at like day two, a little over two days since surgery. Um, yeah, just protecting my eyes. They don't look too beautiful right now, but mm, super fun. Uh, mostly just having persistent headache. Um, I guess from the forehead work, and then uh, so much swelling in my jaw, that's why I can't really talk right now. A um, little bit of nausea, you know, all the medication I have has been really helpful with keeping the pain under, under management. Uh, yeah supposed to get maybe a little worse over the next day or two and then around day four or so start the swelling supposed to start going down so just gotta hold out probably just gonna sleep the next two days yay here we have three days the swelling is really starting to compile compound it's not fun Hey everyone, so this is just another video, like afternoon, three days after surgery. You know, as you can see, you know, some decent bruising under the eyes. Um, you know, this morning felt like the swelling was getting better, but then it feels like my chin and jaw swelled up like a balloon again, so I think the swelling overall is getting better, but it's kind of like a roller coaster up and down in terms of that. I'm hoping it will start to go down more tomorrow and the next day, and hopefully by like, you know, day four, day five, tomorrow and the next day. Yeah. You know, I've just been watching some TV, 
spoon. Who knew not with women could you cut? And she And then we have four days after surgery. So here is a video of me about four days after my FFS. Um, as you can see, you know, I still got bruising and swelling around my eyes. My eyes are a little bloodshot. Um, you know, most of the swelling is still around my jawline, to be expected. Um, still got mild headaches, um, just from the forehead work. And as you can still tell, it's not very easy to, like, open my mouth and talk normally at this point. Um, I'm still on, like, a liquid diet. Yay for that. Um, I hope my finger wasn't blocking the microphone, but we'll see later. Um, it's manageable. I've had minimal pain meds today, so just occasional ice packs and just relaxing, keeping my head elevated as best as I can, getting up and moving every once in a while, because that helps reduce the swelling. Um, yeah, it's a process. Um, you know, making sure I rinse up my mouth with mouthwash, with the medicated mouthwash they gave me because I can't brush my teeth yet either because you know can't really fit a toothbrush in there but you know also don't want to disrupt the suture sites that are in my mouth but that's about it um you know keeping this this beautiful this beautiful thing on my head um just to provide some compression and just you know keep things in check I'm about to take my first shower since before surgery soon, so I'm super excited about that, and I feel like I look like a crazy person every time I open my eyes up big. But it doesn't hurt to do that now, so that's exciting. Yay, progress. Stay tuned for more. And then here we are today. So today marks five days after surgery. So... You know, I've talked a little bit about the swelling and the pain and things like that in the previous little snippets that I included here. So, you know, today, you know, as you can see, like, the swelling around my eyes is, you know, it's the swelling's definitely going down. There's, you know, a lot of bruising, but the swelling's going down. Um, there's definitely not as much swelling around my forehead. Um, my jawline is still pretty swollen, but it is a lot better than it was yesterday, the day before. Um, like I said, like days two and three were probably the worst. Um, and now it's getting better. I think the part that I'm not liking, that I'm disliking the most is just, I have a lot of difficulty eating solid food right now. But thankfully the pain is very manageable. Um, I've just been... You know, the first few days I was taking, like, Percocet every four to six hours. But for the past couple of days, I've just been doing, um, like, Tylenol with codeine, which is much milder. Doesn't make me drowsy. Um, so that way, you know, I can actually still do stuff, but have some of the pain and discomfort taken away. Um, like, at this point, most of the pain and discomfort just comes from, like, the pressure from the, um you know, forehead area surgery, um, giving me headaches, um, but it's, it's like a persistent but very, very mild headache at this point. There's really no pain in the jaw area at this time, it's just swelling. Um, yeah, I mean, other than that, I finally took a shower yesterday and today, I finally washed my hair yesterday, and that was great. Um, it's weird having, like, no sensation in my scalp, because I did have a scalp advancement. But, overall, at this point, um, since it's been about five days, I would say most of the bad stuff from recovery is out of the way. Sometimes hurts to make, you know, exaggerated facial expressions. Um, mostly just feels like the skin is really tight. <laughs> But yeah, most of the bad stuff is out of the way. Um, it's just the swelling is continuing to go down. Um, some more bruising that will clear up. Um, but overall, just like my previous surgeries, no regrets. Yeah, so...
that kind of just gives you like a little recap of first five days of recovery from my FFS, my experiences. Um, obviously this will be different for any for anyone who gets these types of surgeries, but hoping, you know, I could just give some insight as to what it could be like for you to get, you know, any jawline work and or any, you know, brow lift, forehead recontouring or, you know, hairline advancement work, scalp advancement. Um, yeah, so, you know, as always, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button. Um, please click the bell next to there if you haven't done that either, and you'll get notifications when I upload new videos. Um, please like the video, please share, you know, please share with your friends, your family, share with your pets. You know, I always have to give a little shout out to to my cute little fur baby, Tipsy. Say hello. Okay, I guess she wants to say hello to me and not to the camera. Um, but yeah, as always, um, leave any comments if you have any questions for me, anything I didn't cover, um, or just anything you did or didn't like about the video. And I'm sure I'll be putting out new videos soon just to, you know, further updates, you know, you know, maybe 10 days out, two weeks out, whatever, in terms of my progress. So stay tuned for more, and as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye now.